On today's installment of Storage Unit Stories, I got a really interesting question from an adorable woman that loves us to pieces. She asked me, what is it about traveling that intrigues you so much? Ma'am, I cannot wait to tell you this answer because it's the simplest thing in the world. You know, I spent more than a decade inside of a cell, right? I'm talking about locked in a box. We're not going to go into the total span of years I did, but at one sitting, I did at least 13 and a half, 14 years in one sitting. During that one sitting, I spent 18 months of that 14 years in solitary confinement on no human contact. I do so much traveling because I just want to see things that I seen when I was locked up and not in a book, not in a magazine. You don't have to tell me about it. I want to see it for myself. That's not good enough, is it? You want a more intricate answer to the question. Cool. I got you. Let's leave jail out of this. Let's leave prison out of this. Let's leave everything that I've been through in life that makes me want to really see the world. Let's X that out and not even go into that. You want some coffee? I want EJ and Bear to potty in every state. That's what intrigues me so much about the traveling because once Bear and EJ potty in all 50 states, I can put out a real children's book of EJ and Bear, you know what I'm saying? Calling off all of the states and all of that and it be authentic and it be real. It's a whole lot of books in the world that people wrote, they wrote just using their imagination. What I be having going on, man, my real life, I don't post nothing that ain't true to the moment I posted it. That's good enough? Is that, is that a good enough answer that I want to be able to? No, nah, that ain't good enough. I need another one. Okay, cool. I got one. I want to see the world. And I want to show it to my people. I swear for the Lord, I do. That's why I travel so much. And... You know, I suffer from depression, anxiety, DID, PTSD, and a whole bunch of other things from experiences that I experienced in life that really didn't have anything to do with some of the other bad experiences that came along with my life. Seeing new things, man, boosts my spirit. Being around wonderful and beautiful places that I have never been before can brighten my day no matter how bad I'm feeling. When I feel depressed, when I feel down, when I feel anxious, I go somewhere I ain't never been before. And I just enjoy the moment of being somewhere that I ain't never been before. And it is an amazing thing. You just gotta try it, right? You just gotta try it. Just decide one day that you just gonna get up and go somewhere, right? Don't ask nobody permission. Don't tell nobody. Don't do none of that. Just get up and go. And when you get there, you will know it because your spirit and your body is going to tell you you are in the right place. And then you just enjoy a few minutes of peace and quiet and calm and all of that. Mm. That ain't good enough, neither. That ain't good enough, neither. Okay, cool. Let me go and be honest with you. I don't know why I'm fascinated with traveling. I don't, but it fascinates me. And that's all I need to know in real life. Like, but on the back end, arrogantly saying this, I know it's going to be crazy, but it just sounds so good when I can tell a troll that's trolling me on the internet that my puppies have potty in more places than you have been in life. Why are you trolling me? Have a good day. You be safe.